Well, we have a lot going on. It's the big game, the Super Bowl on NBC tonight. Tomorrow, Valentine's Day, which is kind of a pass-fail grade. And for local florists, I mean, this is their Super Bowl. It's kind of weird, Super Bowl and Super Bowl on the same day because today's a big day for florists this whole weekend, and we have a lot of great florists around town. Now, so when someone gives you those you know, great flowers, we're going to talk a little bit about how to care for them. These I bought from a truck stop, so they, they, they weren't all that good. So you can do that. We'll talk a little bit about some of the other plants if you don't want to do fresh flowers. But fresh flowers are pretty easy. The thing is, once you get them from a local florist, they're probably cut, they're ready to go in water. Buy them from somewhere else like I did, you need to make sure you snip them. And, and we all know this, you, you snip at a, a 45 degree angle, pop them in the pot. This isn't really a vase, it's a gurgle pot. So you'll go through and do that. So pretty, pretty easy to do. Strip any flowers off that would be below the uh, water line because you can get a little bacteria build up on that. It comes with a little packet of, of, of this, the food. And what's important with that is not only is there sugar, but it, it helps, it changes the pH of the water. That'll help the flowers last longer. So inside, once, once you get up, you wanna keep them for, you know, as long as you can. Try to keep them in a, in a shady, cool spot. So I don't know where that would be. I mean, so not in front of a, directly in front of the, uh, the window or anything like that. So then this is the power move, all right? So you've given these beautiful plants to your loved one. The power move is that you wanna change the water every couple days and then also recut them. If you, re, you, you can recut them after uh, oh, two or three days, I guess I would do it at the same time I was doing the water. So you can use a sharp knife or a pair of shears, a pair of scissors, but recut them. And the power move, not only did you buy the flowers, but now you're taking care of them. How about that? Now, one more odd thing. Don't set fresh cut flowers by a bowl of fruit, especially apples. These are, these are actually pear candles, which I get, actually would make a, a nice gift as well. I couldn't find anything else, so I found these. But apples put off uh, a gas that can actually wilt flowers, especially like these are, uh, these are carnations with, or dianthus, which is in carnation family. They are particularly susceptible to that. I think it's ethylene gas that comes off of fruit. So make sure you avoid that. I know that's kind of a weird one. So now maybe you're not into fresh flowers and you can go to the uh, uh, garden centers, uh, different places, even florists will have some planted gifts, but doing a, you know, taking something like this, this is a calla lily, and then maybe picking out and person, Oops, it says super mom, that probably shipped for Mother's Day. So we'll put that one back. But you get, there's really cool pottery. So you could take it and just repot it. And there's so many different things. If you kind of look around at all the blooming plants, you can do a house plant. But, you know, when we're thinking about Valentine's Day, we, we're generally thinking about something with some color. So doing that, repotting it, and then kind of making it its own little thing kind of shows effort. Remember you're not going to get an A here. It's pass-fail. You're just looking to pass and get through this day. 